Hi everybody, it's Stephanie with Stud Code Busters. I thought I would do a video quick because I've been getting a lot of questions lately. Um, this is what's interesting. Three different people in the same day um, had asked me if a certain product was okay to use to clean their horse's sheath. And it's interesting because the product that they mentioned was Furazone. Um, <laughs> I get questions often about you know, it's okay to use on my horse, but this is an interesting one. Furazone's a, a product that we normally use on skin irritations, infections, um, horses with cellulitis. It's maybe something that we would use Furazone on, but I don't know why, I don't know, I don't know who got the idea that it would be okay to use Furazone in your horse's private parts, because you know that this is um, a part of his anatomy that goes up and inside of his body. Uh, what you have to realize is, he can have a reaction to his skin because this is an area that you cannot see all the time. He tucks it back up and inside. So please just understand, I think whatever you put on him, um, you don't know if he could be having a reaction to. So please just be careful about what you could use even though so-and-so or someone had told you that these things are okay. My rule of thumb is, I have a lot of women that I talk to and I have a lot of men, this applies to you also, if you would use it on your private parts, then maybe it's okay to use on your horse. If you not use it on yours, probably stay away from it on your horse. Um, what people need to realize is you have to be neutral and as natural as you can and as gentle as you can for your horse's skin. There's certain things that you don't want to do. You don't want to use something that's really harsh. You don't want to use something that's a detergent. You don't want to use a dish soap on your horse's private parts because that can overly clean him. He has his own natural flora and natural oils to his skin and you don't want to strip those things off. Things like baby oil. Baby oil is a petroleum product. It's carcinogenic. I don't know necessarily if I would use it on my private parts for sure. I definitely wouldn't use it on your horse. I've seen a lot of irritation happen with that. Also, I don't really know, after all the things that we found out, I don't really know if baby oil is even good for babies, but that's a whole other topic of conversation. Um, so please just try to use something neutral and natural. If your horse, if you don't know if whatever you used on your horse, if you got it all rinsed out, then get really comfortable with rinsing them with water because no matter what, whatever product you put on your horse, do not leave it inside. Everything should get rinsed out. And if you don't know where you're going or he didn't drop or he didn't let you finish the cleaning, what if you left things in there? Please, um, if everybody who has met me knows the story that I tell, that a commercial sheath cleaner that I bought for my horse chemically burnt my horse's penis. He couldn't tuck it back inside. It caused a very strong reaction. I had to treat him for a chemical burn. And it was a sheath cleaner that I bought at a tax store. And he ended up having such a reaction to it. So get used to what, rinsing your horse with water. The more you do things the same way every time, the more it's no big deal. When you get done riding him, you rinse him off, you flush up in there. And that'll help grab a whole bunch of that stuff. When you use just water, you're not stripping off his natural oils. You're not confused whether you got everything rinsed out or not. You're basically just giving him a douche. And the more you do that, the less problems he's gonna have. Um, and, and, and the more water you use, the more it all comes out. So those are kind of just what my thoughts are. Please, 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 everybody, don't use baby oil. Don't use Fairer Zone. Don't use Dawn dish soap. Um, don't use mineral oil. Don't use... I, I, KY jelly, I, I, there's some weird stuff in that too. I don't know. I would, I would, I would stay away from something like that. What else have I heard? Pam cooking spray. I wouldn't use that. Listerine, baking soda, vinegar. The list goes on. Coconut oil. I, please don't use coconut oil to clean your horse. And whatever you do, don't leave that inside of him. Anything that you use, get everything rinsed out. Okay, those are my two cents for the day. I have to head back off to work. Take care. Shoot me a message. If you have, if your horse has not been cleaned in a while, please, please, please get on my list. The more we can keep him clean, the less emergencies and problems he might end up having. If you get a new horse, either have me or somebody 
clean your horse, especially if you don't know him, you don't know his background, you don't know where he came from, just to make sure that everything is okay with him and you can get to know him a little bit better. Um, so take care of everybody. Um, I'll talk to you soon. Have a wonderful year. Bye-bye.